we're here today to thank uh, incredible donors and benefactors of Southwest General, Wayne and Debbie Brussel. Among other things, one of their focuses uh, is, has been on mental health, and they've made significant gifts to our facility across the way where the pavilion is named in their honor. And in this case, they have funded this adolescent sensory room. We were able to transform this room from an office space into a uh, behavioral wellness room that we use for de-escalation. Uh, we use for reward time for kids to just relax in here. And we also use it to just check in individually as a neutral space. So we primarily do group therapy as a form of treatment here. Like I said, we have our IOP or intensive outpatient program. We also have our PHP or partial hospitalization program. And those are both group-based treatments. We also have psychiatric providers that our patients are able to see while they're a part of our program. Our concern for mental health issues for both the children and adults has been for the last 12 years. We had said, you know, if, if what we can do helps one person, then it's well worth it. It's well worth it. We serve anybody across the community from as young as 14 to uh, as old as, um, I believe the oldest patient we've ever had was 82 years old. We serve the mental health community and those that struggle with their mental health. We also have substance use groups here for those that struggle with addiction. We have our tic-tac-toe, we have a Velcro dartboard, a ring toss. A lot of those uh, we use to cause just a little bit of distress, um, gives us the opportunity to correct things as they're happening. This room is tremendous and I love how Zach said that you know, they're able to use this and it helps our patients better serve our patients. So thank you again for making this happen and thank you for all you've done for Southwest General. You guys are fantastic.